Mrs. K. If you guys are new here, hi, lovely to have you. And if you guys are returning, thank you so much for yet again choosing to watch one of my shopping haul videos. I have been to Matalan and I have also been to the range. I've been dying to go there because I haven't been since Christmas. So it's been a long kind of overdue trip. I wasn't that impressed. I have to kind of be a little bit honest. I feel like the range and Matalan, I feel like they've both gone so, so expensive. And I just, I find some of their pricing absolutely unbelievable. But I was in there and I did pick up a few little bits, which were really, really lovely. So I'm dying to show them to you guys. Right guys, so before I show you what I did buy from the shops, I just want to address two things with you very, very quickly. Firstly, um, I did it. I did it, I hit 2,000 subscribers over the weekend and I'm absolutely buzzing, really, really excited. It's made me so happy. You guys are just absolutely bloody amazing. So thank you so, so much. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, you will never know how much this channel means to me and how much this channel has actually done for me. This channel has really gotten me out of some dark holes and I literally feel like this channel sometimes just absolutely saves my life um i initially started this channel back in 2021 i was going through a really really tough time i was going through depression i was going through a lot basically i was constantly in and out of hospital a lot um for those of you guys that are new won't really know that simon my husband was going through cancer he was going through radiotherapy treatment um we were just going through a lot we were going through a lot guys and yeah, it really kind of pulled me out of some dark places. I got really depressed and it's just my go-to place now when I'm ever feeling, you know, quite low, I can come on here and have a chat with you guys. And yeah, like I say, this channel has been a real lifesaver for me. It's more than just a channel. And I'm one of them people, like I've said on a previous video, I'm not here for the money. I'm not here for fame. I'm not one of them people where I just don't care about my subscribers and all I care about are the numbers. I generally take an interest in every single one of you guys. If you send me a message, I will always respond. It doesn't matter how rubbish I'm feeling or how low I'm feeling or how busy I am. I will always reply to you guys because I just feel it's fair, you know? You guys take the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. You take the time to message me and I only feel, you know, it's right that I give you guys the time back. So honestly, guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much, because this week I have been so overwhelmed because I didn't expect it, like I really didn't. I was like, I think a couple of numbers away from hitting the 2000 mark, and I was just absolutely shocked when I turned it on a couple of days later and I gained 100 new subscribers. I, I literally, I couldn't believe it. I got so emotional, I got so upset, and... I know to a lot of people, they're just thinking, oh, you know, it's just YouTube and, you know, 2,000 subscribers isn't that much. But to me, like I say, I never in a million years even thought I would get 20 subscribers. I really didn't. I'll be honest, guys, I don't know why you enjoy watching my channels, but you do. And I'm very, very grateful for that. I just, yeah, I just pinch myself every day, really, that people want to watch me. I find it interesting that people like watching me and it's just something I never thought would happen. I'm not the most confident person. I've never been a confident person, especially on appearance and stuff like that. So it really took a lot for me to do this channel and it has given me a new level of confidence, I have to say, and that is all down to you. And I'm not just saying that, guys. If you didn't send me the lovely message that you sent me, it wouldn't push me to keep going. Um, so yeah, all the messages on are absolutely lovely from you guys and I'm so, so grateful. So thank you so, so much. I did it, 2,000 subscribers, woo! I cannot wait to do a celebration video, which I am going to be doing. Um, okay, so now the other issue that I want to address is a little bit embarrassing, but I'm going to bring up, I apologies for constantly sniffing through this video. I have yet again got another cold. I seem to catch a cold every two weeks, it's ridiculous. So apologies, I know how annoying it is to keep sniffing through this video. Okay, so talking of embarrassing moments. So this morning, I went into the bathroom, washed my face, was going to, you know, put my makeup on. And I thought, oh, do you know what? My eyebrows are looking a little bit bushy, Gem. You need to sort them out. I don't pluck my eyebrows. I don't thread them. They're kind of just naturally left. But this morning, for whatever reason, I thought I would just get my normal underarm 
razor, you know, me being the idiot I am, and just tidy it up a little bit. This one was fine, worked out great. This one, I kind of hacked off half of my eyebrow, which I'm gonna come closer and show you. But I have to say, guys, it looks a lot worse than you can actually see because I have taken an eyebrow pencil and coloured most of this in, but all of this here is missing and this bit here is missing. I have completely hacked off this half of my eyebrow. So yeah, I just had to address the situation because whilst filming, I can see that some of the eyebrow pencil has rubbed off. So just in case you're wondering, you know, why my eyebrows look a little bit weird, that is why I hacked off my eyebrow this morning with an underarm razor. So there you go, guys. That's the kind of person I am. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose my 100 subscribers now. Let's see. Everyone's clicking on follow. She's a bit of a lunatic. She's a bit of a weirdo. Let's unfollow her. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just me, guys. I, I am me. I'm normal. I do funny stuff. I say funny things. I do crazy things. I'm not your average normal person. Put it that way. I'm, I'm quite out there. Um, but right, that's enough. I feel like I've gone on for ages, so I do apologise. You want to see what I've got in my bags from Matalan and the Range. So I'm going to start with this. It's just because it is here and it's the biggest item. So I'm going to get this done and show it to you. It's a new bread bin. I did need a new bread bin. So I've got one at the moment. It's kind of similar-ish to this, but it's not as nice as this. And it has seen better days. I've had it for a number of years. It's all rusty. It's all dented. It's all disgusting. So it's time for it to go. I initially went into the range to try and find a bread bin, but I was absolutely shocked to find that their stuff, oh my God, honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the range has just gone to pot. I feel like the shop's always in a mess. Everything's just gone up in price, like really, really bad. Like everything just seems to have tripled in price. I was looking at a bread bin in there, it was like 25 pound. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I thought, Do you know what? Matalan was banned next door. I'll go and have a look in there. I saw this one, I thought, oh, this is really nice. This is very me, very pretty. It was priced at £15, which I do have to admit is a little bit pricey still. But I thought, you know what? I have been really good with my money lately. I've been really saving. I've been really working hard. I don't treat myself very often. So I thought, you know what? Today, be a little bit naughty, Gem. Spend a little bit more extra and get yourself this bread bin. So I did. And I love it, guys. It's a lovely ivory colour. It's absolutely ginormous, by the way, guys. It's like a, it's like a trunk. It's massive. I think you're probably going to get two, about two loaves of bread in there. I love the little wooden handle, which is going to tie in so well in the kitchen. I've got loads and loads of wooden bits out in my kitchen. And I just love the writing. I love how it looks. I love that it's got that rustic kind of look to it, which you guys know I love. So for those who are new to my channel, um, if you guys do want to kind of, you know, go back through and look at some old videos, please do, please do do that. Um, because then you guys can get an idea of how the house looks and stuff. I have got a few house tours. On there that you guys might like to see and also some Christmas decorating and stuff like that so my style is very kind of I'm a country cottage girl even though I live in London so I live in London and we are currently now living in this flat we have been in this flat since October so not very long at all and I just love the country cottage look I love the farmhouse style I just absolutely love everything about it so I'm trying really really hard to incorporate it in this flat it is proving a mission because obviously it is a flat in London but I'm trying my hardest guys to make this house look like you know you've walked into a country cottage so every time I see anything like this I just grab it and I have to have it so yeah I really really love that and then I also got some other little rustic bits in Matalan as well this I really really love and I think this was so cute so adorable and I think it was really cheap as well five pound for this so it's a little sign for your bathroom it says wash your hands and then at the top just like this one i don't know if you guys saw that but it said the kitchen company at the very very top and then this one has the laundry company at the top and then yeah i just thought this was going to look so lovely in the bathroom just put a little hook up by the sink and have this up there it's very fun very quirky but it just adds that little rustic vibe to the bathroom and again it's just got that little pop of black with the little black chain there as well i'm not a dark color kind of girl as you guys can probably see i love my whites i love my beiges i love pastel colors anything kind of soft i don't really like dark or really really bright colors but i have to say at the moment i am trying to incorporate really really small touches of black i don't want to go over the top and you know like paint the walls black or anything like that or have black towels but I think just that really really small pop of black is just going to tie in so well and just give it that you know little extra rustic look 
the reason why I got this towel. Oh, I absolutely love this. This is a new range in Natalina at the moment. All of this stuff is kind of new, which is absolutely great for me because it's bang on my style. How cute is this, guys? It's a hand towel, five pounds. I don't think they had any other towels in different sizes. Not that I saw anyway, they could do, and I could be completely wrong. But I just thought, oh, this was so lovely. And this is gonna look so nice in the bathroom, just hanging up. Again, the same as that at the top, the laundry company, and then you've got laundry service in the middle. And then at the very bottom, it says wash, dry, and fold. And again, it's just got that very, very small touch of black which i think is perfect it's not too over the top and i think it just adds that little bit of elegance i think and i just think that's really really lovely five quid for that which i don't think was that bad at all so that is going to go in the bathroom i cannot wait to give the bathroom a nice clean and pop all of this stuff in there right this oh honestly guys my nose i need to grab a tissue it's so bad i'll grab one in a second i do apologize i picked this up in Morrison's. So I went in Morrison's every day to just get a few bits and pieces of milk and bread and I stumbled across this when I was looking in the home range and I was like, oh my god, I have to have this. So for those who haven't seen my house and stuff, in my front room I have a lot of bunny rabbits. I love rabbits and I just love to have them all around the front room just to kind of add that cottage vibe. And then in my kitchen and my bathroom I've got lots of ducks. So that's why I got this and I love that it's in a bathtub. I just thought this is going to look so lovely in my bathroom. The boots are yellow, which I don't like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a small tester pot of paint in a sage green colour. And then I'm going to paint the boots just so that he ties in with the rest of the house. Because I've got loads of sage green everywhere. But I thought, oh my God, you know what? He's so cute. Look at his little fat belly just laying there, lounging around in the bathtub. He's just so cute. And the duck's wooden as well, which again, as you guys know, I've got lots of wood everywhere. It's going to tie in so well. Should have been £7, but he was reduced to five quid. And then, would you guys believe this, okay? I found this, which is pretty much almost identical to this. But this was from the range. But how perfect are they together? Absolutely perfect. Same colour, it's wooden. They've got the same colour boots on as well. I think he was five quid. I'm not 100%. He could have been a little bit less than that. He could have been three, actually. Three or... F no, was he three, four or five pounds? Oh, I don't remember. But he wasn't expensive. It was probably under five... It was five pound or under. I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to paint the boots just so that he matches with this one. And then they are both going to go in my bathroom. I've got a nice little shelf above the toilet. So yeah, these are gonna look so, so cute in there, but I love this one. This is my absolute favorite. He's absolutely bloody adorable. So that's that one. Um, I also got this little bunny rabbit as well. This is to go on one of my bookcases in the living room. This is with the Easter range. So the range do have their Easter bits out already. And this one was priced at 2 99 And he is just a plain white ceramic kind of china a rabbit but he's absolutely adorable they did have a couple of different styles like different positions i think some were laying down some were sitting up but i just love this one i thought he looked so cute he looks like he's just about to hop off somewhere but he's lovely isn't he perfect for easter decoration and then if you're anything like me i just love to have bunnies out all year round so he is going to look lovely on my bookcase i got these as well these were only 99p each and these are door stops which i thought were really cool because we have doors in this living room and they just do not stay open and we've got one in the bathroom the door just keeps closing it doesn't stay open it's quite annoying we have to keep putting the dustbin there at the moment because i've just not been able to come across any door stops not cheap ones anyway but yeah i saw these 99p each i thought oh wow they're well good i'm gonna get a couple of those so one for the bathroom and one for the living room and the wood as well which is going to tie in with the rest of the decoration in the front room but i thought yeah quid they were so so cheap i've got a couple more bunny bits here let me show you this one this one was one pound 29p which i think is a really really cheap price don't you it's a lovely white wooden color and then they've got the little groove bits here which i really really love and then you've got the little brown hessian bow there and then you also have some string for you to 
tie it up so you could pop it on your wall just have like a little wall decoration or you can hang it from your door handle to make the door look pretty or if you've got like a sideboard or anything you could just hang it from the little handles just to add that little bit of easter decoration but i love that i think i'm probably going to have this out all year round rather than just easter because i just think it's so pretty and one pound 29p really really good price that this is my favorite absolute favorite isn't it beautiful look at that really really lovely it's a lovely sage green color as well you've got the lovely little bit of hessian ribbon there which is great it just ties in with my house guys so perfectly with the sage green and the woods this just ties in so well and the fact that it's a bunny as well i feel like this was just made for me and i absolutely loved it when i saw it i think it was 2.99 i'm sure it was three quid and then you've got the little cute little tail there but it's so lovely and the nice gingham check fabric i do love gingham stuff i just think it's so country cottage looking and i love that it's quite heavy actually you do have like beady bits at the bottom so if you wanted to you could actually use this as a doorstop i suppose oh, why did i think of that before i bought these but no this is going to go on my bookcase probably if i go back to the range which i don't think is going to be anytime soon if i do i probably am going to get myself another one of these because i do love it so much the only other colour they had in these were pink. So you only get the sage green colour and the pink. Okay, now I'm going to show you these. I got myself some new canisters for the kitchen. Because like the bread bin, I have some tin ones. I may have just gone really horrible. They're all like, oh, they're just horrible. They're really, really bad. So I saw these. I thought, oh, these are really, really pretty. £6, 29p each, which I don't think is that bad but i love them that's the coffee one and then you've got the tea one here you've got the nice bit of hessian ribbon again around there and then you've got the lovely wooden tops and like i said these are going to work so well in my kitchen and i just thought oh they just look so kind of country cottage which is just my absolute favorite and that's the inside but the only thing is i couldn't get one that said sugar on it they had none left on the shelves to be honest, they didn't really have a lot of these left either. So I don't know if they're quite popular at the moment or I'm not sure. They were just putting them out if they're new. I have no idea. But yeah, they didn't have a lot of them. You see, I didn't manage to get my hands on the sugar one. But what I'm going to do is try and order the sugar one online. Because obviously I do need them all to match. But I thought these work so well with the bread bin, even though they're from different shops. But aren't they lovely? Really, really pretty them. I can't wait to put them out in the kitchen. Let's pop them there for now. And then I have a couple more bits here, and that's it. These are some wall signs that I have got. Let me show you. I'm going to show you this one first, actually. This one is for Jake's bedroom. He's sticking to the black and white theme, which I think is really, really nice. And it's a gaming sign, which is good. It says, keep out there, and then gamer at work at the bottom. And this lights up. So I have got some batteries here, which I got out earlier, just so I can show you what it looks like when it is lit up. So the button, where is the button is at the bottom? Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. So yeah, that's to go in his bedroom, but I just thought that's so nice. It's gonna look really nice on his wall. Let me take the batteries back out. This was priced at nine. 99 so yeah that is for him i'm going to pop that back in there because i don't need to see it just yet put my batteries back right now i'm going to show you my last two bits here i love these signs i see these i follow quite a lot of homes on instagram like american homes and i am forever seeing signs like this and i'm always jealous because they just don't do them here i've seen hobby lobby sell them and target and obviously because we are here in the uk they just don't have any of this stuff and every time i see these i just want them and i could not believe when i saw these in the range i just picked them up i didn't care how much they were i just threw them into the trolley i'm not sure how much this one was it might have been 2.99 but i'm not 100 percent um and it says this is our happy place but i just love how it's kind of like all of the black words i just think it's so lovely so so pretty so that is going to go up in the living room somewhere no idea when it's going to go up in the living room somewhere but i just oh i had to have it and then this one as well which matches it oh i 
love them. This one might have been five or six pound. I can't exactly remember the price of it. This one says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. I need to start listening to these quotes a lot more, to be quite honest, because I'm quite a negative Nancy. But I love this. I love it. Love, 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 love. Love it. This is going to go so nice in here. I just don't know where, but it's just going to look so, so good. And it's just going to add that element of rustic in here. So I'm so, so excited to get all these new pieces out and about in the house. So, yeah, that is my goodies that I picked up in the shops. I do have some more hauls coming for you. So I have been to b and I've got a few little bits from b and I've also been to Primark. I've got some really nice bits from there. Um, home bargains as well. I've got another home bargains haul coming. And I feel like I've been somewhere else. Where else have I been? I've definitely been somewhere else because I've been saving the haul for you. But I just Oh, Sheen. I've got a few bits from Sheen. And I've also got another mini, mini team you haul as well. So yeah, quite a few shopping hauls coming up for you guys. And then I think probably... Because we're now in February, aren't we? So, yeah, we're going to have the Easter decorations going up soon. So I'll be getting that videoed. First time that the Easter stuff is going to go up in this flat. So I'm very excited to get all that out. And just put it all everywhere, put on the bookcases. So I'll definitely film that so you guys can see me decorating the house for Easter. But um, for now, that is it from me. I will see you in my next shopping haul video. And like I said earlier on, thank you guys so much for getting me to 2000 subscribers you're absolutely bloody amazing and for all of your really really nice messages it's lovely to kind of just go on and have nice things to read so thank you guys very very much take care i love you all and i will see you very very soon Bye bye